The current negative political developments, the collapsing economy, a divided nation, and demolition of trust in the state, and failure to uphold the constitution by the executive and parliament are some of the reasons which compel the luminaries to try to restore confidence in the future of the country. The foundation has identified the following basic threats which impact negatively on our young democracy, and these include, but are not limited to, the prevailing mood of despair and foreboding in society, diminution of confidence and erosion of trust, poverty, unemployment, inequity that continues to rise, a divided nation. They say the current crisis has diminished South Africa's stature on the African continent as a leading nation. You've got a situation today of an executive that has failed dismally to do its job in terms of the constitution. You've got parliament that has failed um, to do its oversight responsibility to deal with that. You've got a court that has pronounced on this failure, but nothing happens. Now, the rest of the South Africans are hamstrung. They've got nothing. They don't know what to do. With our uh, history, we should realize the importance of uh, holding a conversation anew. The initiative will not be led by any political party, but is expected to develop the national consensus and to give direction to future leaders to save South Africa from becoming yet another failed African state. Muntlengeni Dipoku, SABC News, Johannesburg.